What's going on you guys? Welcome back for another video. Today I have a sit down kind of educational informative video for you all about exactly why we bloat, what exactly bloating is, and how to reduce it. Because it was something that I used to face a lot actually. I've had a lot of stomach and digestive um, issues which I've actually seen a doctor for and kind of found out if I had certain intolerances to certain foods but I was bloated all the time. Um, of course a lot of that was back in the day as well when I was doing um, crazy amounts of like overeating and stuff like that but I asked you guys on snapchat how many of you really struggled with that I know the main portion of my snapchat following is women but I think men also struggle with this as well and a lot of you said uh, for women especially when you're on your period and just other random times throughout the month you do find that you're very bloated and you would really like to hear any type of bloating remedies so through my research and personal experience there's only a few reasons why we bloat what I've broken it down to is first of all overeating just going completely crazy and completely stuffing yourself you'll notice of course that your stomach tends to look distended and just feel really gross secondly for women when you do get on your period um, you know same thing happens your stomach tends to get a little bit bigger and you feel just really crappy um, also eating high in salt foods and then also just high fat and sugar foods in general any type of processed or fast food can make you feel that way and it's not the same thing as when you eat a full healthy meal and you just feel satiated and you feel full and you feel good but you don't feel like your stomach is really like purging out there I know for me myself whenever I eat something very high in salt um, I tend to retain a lot of water as well so I like personally to really try to keep my salt consumption very low I always tend to go for the pink Himalayan salt rather than just like white table salt which is just not good for you whatsoever I also screenshotted something really interesting that I found online when I was researching bloating it said the second most common cause of temporary bloating is gas in the abdomen which is crazy like I would never think of that but I guess it happens whenever you swallow too much air um, which I know sounds like weird but it might just be something you're doing that you're unaware of if you are you know bloated a lot more than normal and it says here some people swallow more air when they're nervous it's possible that practicing ways to reduce stress and anxiety such as breathing exercises or progressive muscle relaxation may help reduce excess gas and bloating and also some other reasons why we bloat just in general is water retention I think that's the main one that a lot of us know but actually drinking an excess of water I like to have mine with apple cider vinegar and lemon I'll go into my little routine here in a minute um, will really help to flush all that excess out then also having a food intolerance, which some people might know they have and they might still choose to eat those items anyways. Or some people actually have no idea that their stomach is very intolerant to certain foods. Um, I think that was kind of what was happening with me over the past few years. A lot of people, I think it's like 75 to 85 to 80 percent of people have at least a slight intolerance to dairy um, the cheese and the milk and the eggs and everything like that it's not really the best for us which we know um, but a lot of us choose to eat it anyways because it's been in our diet for so many years or those certain ingredients are in our favorite foods but a lot of people's stomachs just cannot process and break those down so if you see someone who has an excessive amount of pizza or like with a ton of cheese on there or a ton of ice cream and they're feeling really bloated afterwards um, I've heard that a super high percentage of people experience bloating like that when they have an excess of dairy. You can actually get tested at your doctors. This is something I want to do in the future as well, or pretty soon actually. They do like a little prick test on your arm to see all the things that you're allergic to. And sometimes, um, especially in the past when my stomach has been hurting so bad, I really have wanted to narrow it down and see if I do have like a slight intolerance or if I'm just completely dairy intolerant. I know I did recently add like egg whites and stuff back into my routine and I've been feeling okay. Um, um, but I'm curious to know if I have like a specific allergy or intolerance to it so if you eat a lot of dairy and you're constantly feeling bloated be sure to definitely check that out so personally it took me a good three three and a half days to severely reduce the insane bloating that I had last week like I said when I started my period and a lot of you just wanted to know what exactly I did to get my stomach completely down from looking like super distended and just feeling uncomfortable so I'll walk you through specifically what I did for those three days consistently and straight to reduce all that stuff stomach inflammation so day one when I started my period and I was feeling the most bloated I made a promise to myself for the next few days to only drink water nothing but water with lemon and like this little concoction I'm going to show you um, this is something I do on the regular anyways but I notice as well that it really does help with the bloating so every morning I'll have eight to ten ounces of water with some lemon juice this is just the Italian version I got from like Ralph's or something it was like five bucks and then I have one to two tablespoons in it of the apple cider vinegar this one is from Thrive Market, I've shown it before. You can get them at the grocery store, just make sure it says with the mother, so it has all those healthy natural ingredients um, at the bottom, so when you shake it up, you're getting all the benefits of everything natural in there. 
So I have that detox drink every single morning and sometimes at lunch as well. I'll also sometimes put in a tiny bit of cayenne pepper. You can see these remedies like all over Pinterest and stuff. Um, they work very, very well for any type of stomach indigestion, bloating, inflammation, anything like that. A lot of people ask about the taste of the apple cider vinegar. It's really not that bad. Honestly, if you look up the benefits and how great it is for your overall health, just suck it up and down it because it's really good for you. Um, so I have that every morning for the full three days. I drink absolutely nothing but water and I drank a good gallon of water every single day. No excuses. I also cut out all salt from my diet because salt really tends to bloat you and also cause swelling. And I cut out all dairy products. All of them. As you guys know, I did recently add like some egg whites and certain little dairy products, some ice cream products here and there back into my routine. But when I'm trying to reduce the bloating and the figuring out like what your stomach intolerance is, a lot of people have a small or big intolerance to dairy products. And when I cut out all the ice cream, the cheese, the milk, my stomach bloating like almost instantly goes right down. I also did two body wraps within the three day period to really just help with tightening and firming and toning up that stomach area. You guys know I'm also going on vacation on Friday to St. Louis and I've been doing like crunches and everything like that, but I just really wanted something to like fully tighten up that area. Um, the wraps don't really help you to lose pounds necessarily, but they really do help reduce the appearance of cellulite which I have a lot of cellulite naturally because that's just genetic and they just help overall to improve your skin texture and the tightness around your stomach and like belly flab area, which I know is a major like problem area for many women. Um, you guys know the ones that I've used before are from Fitzy Wraps. Um, this is just like a blank bag because I used the other two last week when I was filming this and I did film how to put them on and everything. It's super, super easy. What I like about theirs is they're super budget friendly, which we know anything I mentioned on my channel has to be catered towards like single parents or people on a budget. I think it's only like 28 or 29 bucks and you get four and they truly do what they say they're gonna do. Like they don't make any false claims on the packaging. You guys know there's so many things floating around social media, Instagram. People just want you to like blow money like that on their product without even knowing if it works. And I know it's hard to tell with certain like social media influencers and stuff, uh, people recommending certain things what does work so specifically on their package they say it's going to tighten and firm and improve your skin texture in that area which I personally truly truly do feel like it does work you guys can see in my pictures as well it's not like a crazy like five six pound weight loss I'm not gonna lie to kick it um, but it definitely like very much tones can I talk today tones and firms up that area which is specifically what I was wanting to go with in addition to everything else that I do, like the detox drink in the morning and cutting down the dairy and salt, when you mix all this stuff up together, I can guarantee you're gonna severely, severely reduce any bloating or stomach uh, cramps or gassiness or indigestion that you do have. The Fitzy wraps are already super affordable if you guys wanna try them, but I will leave an additional 15% off down below for you, so that'll all be in the down bar. So I also cut out Brussels sprouts, cabbage, um, prunes, anything that's very, very starchy, that's a starchy fruit or vegetable, because those can also cause gassiness and that extra air in your abdomen, therefore leading to bloating. So for that full like three and a half day period, I completely had that out of my diet as well, which I feel like really did help in the appearance of my stomach kind of going back down to normal and looking thinner and tighter. Also, if you have a lot of beans or lentils in your diet, those can easily cause a lot of gas and indigestion, um, as well as artificial sweeteners, which a lot of people tend to think are healthy because there's no calories, but those can also contribute to bloating. So there's definitely many things, definitely just like research it. When I was looking up um, liquid products and food products that all contribute to bloating, there was like hundreds of them that I didn't even know about. Um, so if there's something that you constantly have in your diet and you're definitely just feeling more bloated or a more distended stomach over time, be sure to look that up and see if you have any type of intolerance to it or just try like eliminating certain things for like a good four to five day period. Try completely taking dairy out of your routine, just seeing how you feel. If you've eaten the same diet, say for 15 or 20 years, you might not even realize that there's a problem. Say you completely take dairy out of your diet um, and you just feel so much better, more mental clarity, more energy, and you know, you're not bloated whatsoever, then you'll know that something like that was the problem. So I would say just really like target out certain things and just take them out for probably like a good week to really see how you feel. And I guarantee you're gonna see a change in your stomach. Also to make sure that you are getting adequate fiber into your daily food intake every single day. You can get this in so many ways. There's fiber bars, 
plenty of fiber in certain foods and I personally take a fiber powder every day mixed in my morning water or morning shake and it really just helps to help your digestive system go to the bathroom easier and get rid of all the toxins, get all the gross stuff out of there which will in turn really, really help with your bloating or having any type of descended stomach. So be sure to keep fiber up high on your priority list. So yeah, overall, those would be my top fighting bloating, helping to reduce any type of bloating or inflammation, tips that I personally have and what I did to kind of combat my stomach issues over the years and also last week. Um, so thank you guys so much for requesting this video. I hope you learned something new. Everything I talked about will be linked down below. If you are new here, I would love if you would subscribe. I have tons of videos on my channel about my weight loss journey and meal prep and everything kind of having to do with living a healthy lifestyle. So I would love if you would join the family. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Mwah.